Yesterday, it was announced that Charlie XCX is on the way to having her second consecutive number one album with Brat, and just a few hours later, Taylor Swift announced new The Tortured Poets Department digital albums with bonus tracks and first draft phone memos for UK fans, despite already adding another variant to the collection on Tuesday, making a total of 34 different versions of the album. Fans have criticized Swift for seemingly trying to block Charlie XCX from getting the number one spot, as it would knock her off being top of the charts. One user wrote the way Taylor Swift keeps re-releasing her album to block other artists from getting a one is pathetic. If this was any other artist, they would be held accountable and rules would be changed. There's no other reason for these countless calculated re-releases, uh, which led to somebody referencing when Travis Scott had a bundle deal to boost sales and Billboard changed the rules on bundles as a result. Taylor Swift is releasing new versions of her snooze -fest album only in the UK because Charlie is predicted to go one there. This bitch is psycho, she's the cancer of the music industry. Seriously? Never seen such a fame-hungry and stats-obsessed artist in my life, another ex-user wrote. Swift announced more variants of the album in May, when Billie Eilish released Hit Me Hard and Soft and fans of both artists are noticing the similarities. I used to like Taylor, but the chart obsession is annoying. She already has so many awards and acknowledgements let other women win. Stop blocking new albums with your new 50th Dom CD variants. Despite not getting a number one for her latest album, Eilish has just joined Swift and The Weeknd as the only artist to ever surpass 100 million monthly listeners in Spotify history. 